in having read Ray's first two chapters describing the problem, uh, he quotes from Schellenberg, and, and I'd, I'd love it if you could help clarify for me exactly what Schellenberg means here by some of the, the concept of non-resistance. Quoting from a 2015 book by Schellenberg, Openness at a certain time means not through one's own actions or omissions, making it impossible for the other whom one loves to participate in personal relationship with one at that time should the other wish to do so. Alternatively, and applying this now to God, it means that it will be possible for creatures who haven't made it impossible themselves through their own God-obscuring resistance to the divine to participate in relationship with God. Is this basically saying someone who was in a Christian context and leaves that context is not within the scope of the non-resistant non-believer? The way I interpret that passage from Schellenberg and always have is that it's literally a la 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 I can't hear you situation. Anyone who doesn't want to be convinced of something won't be. Schellenberg there I believe is describing people who are making it impossible for the other person to interact. That's the situation that I believe Schellenberg is describing there. So you talk about the person who's like la 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 really ignoring the evidence that's called a resistant believer a resistant non-believer a resistant non-believer the resistant non-believer could say hey there's no evidence for god and they're just like living in self-denial right in our previous discussion we talked about sun deniers <laughs> like, right like yeah, yeah. we could we could find people who deny the existence of the sun right there will be some people that almost for any issue you could find would be like that so the question in view here is are there non-resistant non-believers so people who are genuinely open they could have lived through a christian upbringing for example and still come to the position there's no evidence for god is that that that's the type of person that's in view here yeah and i i, I hesitate again to have this, this no evidence for god because that's uh that's a that's it, a very insufficient bold. sorry yeah insufficient so evidence, insufficient so. and that's just sort of me seeking to understand the lay of the land it'd be interesting if, if we we did like a roundtable discussion with some philosophers like like if we brought Ray, uh, Michael Ray, and some others on, just to see if we're understanding these sometimes these well, philosophical issues. Yeah. Well, and what issues, I'm right? the expert on is why it's convincing to me, as opposed to yeah. the general case. 